Hello everyone, back in into today's first video. We're doing the ECF 30 day look at for today's first video. So, from the Hungarian Met Office, and we're going to go through the next four weeks worth of temperature and precipitation anomalies for the UK and the rest of Europe as well. Uh, and that takes, of course, well into the second half of November. Uh, later on, we will have your week 10 day video update as well. We're in very late today, uh, so sorry uh, about that. But uh, week 10 day video update will be coming up later on uh, this afternoon or early this evening. Right, so this is the uh, week one temperature anomaly from the ECMF 30 day uh, model, week 44 for the year. We're getting towards the end of the year now. Uh, this temperature anomaly uh, covers the period from the 28th of October to the 3rd of November. Quite a cold scene for many parts of the Europe. We see significantly below average temperatures here across the northern parts of uh, Russia and up to northern Scandinavia. Temperature anomalies there. Some places going down to 6 to 10 degrees uh, below average, more widely 3 to 6 degrees uh, below average. And the rest of northern Europe, a little bit uh, colder than average too. Temperatures between around 1 and 3 degrees below average, for example, through Poland, through Germany, uh, into the low countries as well, and also into the UK and Ireland. We're going to be uh, a little bit colder than average in the week ahead. Going further south, though, it's a much warmer scene. So France is the dividing line, really. Many parts of France coming out uh, warmer than average. When we, get, when we get to Spain and Portugal, we see temperature anomalies of between around 3 and 6 degrees above average. And these above average temperatures then extend through the Mediterranean and down into the southeastern part of uh, Europe as well. So Greece and Turkey see temperatures above average. Virtual parts of the Med are, uh, are going to be warmer than average in the week ahead. So no problems from a temperature perspective, perspective if you're planning uh, an autumn holiday to the Mediterranean to get away from those cold and average temperatures further north. Precipitation-wise, we're looking like this. So for Med, it is more of a mixed bag. Uh, actually, many parts of the Mediterranean, despite those above average temperatures, are coming out with rather above average rainfall too. So it looks like there's going to be some pretty big thunderstorms uh, around in weekend. Although the central basin of the Med, particularly around the Balearic Islands of Mallorca, Minorca and Ibiza, drier than average there. Portugal looking very wet, at least northern parts of Portugal. And down to the southeastern corner, it looks a little bit uh, thundery, I have to say, down in towards um, Greece as well. France looking very wet and these wet and average conditions sitting then to the south and southwest of the UK too. Uh, England and Wales coming out with slightly above average rainfall but Scotland and Northern Ireland are drier than average then. Over to Scandinavia, uh, significantly drier than average there through the uh, southern part of the Scandinavian Peninsula and into Denmark too. Northern parts of the Scandinavian Peninsula are also drier than average and then most central and eastern parts of Europe are also coming out a little bit drier than average. So you can see but really it's in this sort of um, northern and uh, central eastern part of Europe where it's dry and average, the southwest and also through the bed is uh, wetter in the week ahead. Moving through to week 45 for the year, which is week two for our forecast period, taking us from the 5th through to the uh, 10th of, uh, from the 4th, I should say, through to the 10th of uh, November, we see that western parts of Europe are still a little bit on the cool and average side. So for the UK, for Ireland, average to a bit below average. Uh, western France, a little bit cooler on average, I mean, down into Spain and Portugal, close to or a little bit below average with temperatures there. Elsewhere, though, most other parts of Europe are coming out. Out, uh, warmer than average for uh, week two, milder than average temperatures, and particularly so to this eastern and southeastern part of uh, Europe, kind of from the Ukraine to the Black Sea. Uh, temperature anomalies are three to six degrees there, and also going down into the southeastern part of the Mediterranean. In the Med, uh, as I say, Spain and Portugal average to a bit below average, but elsewhere, the rest of the Mediterranean generally has above average temperatures here from the 4th to the uh, 10th of November. Precipitation-wise, it looks very unsettled across western and southwestern parts of Europe. So you see above average rainfall here across many western southwest areas. The UK has above average rainfall. Ireland hints at being wetter than average, as is much of France, Spain, Portugal. And that wet weather even extends into the central basin of the Mediterranean as well. So these uh, island areas of uh, the Balearics and also uh, Corsica, Sardinia, and over to Italy and over the Adriatic into the Adriatic coast of the Balkans. 
Dragons. All of those areas are coming up with wetter than average uh, rainfall anomalies. So it does look like it'll be a pretty wet week coming up there through many southern and western parts of Europe. Bit above average for precipitation for Scandinavia too, although large parts of Norway are drier than average. And then the central and eastern parts of Europe, again, with close to average with precipitation there. Down to uh, the southeast, down to Greece and Turkey, also a little bit drier than average, actually, through those areas. Moving through to week three, which is going to be week 46 of the year, taking us from the 11th to the 17th of November. The uh, warm and average temperature anomalies are being pushed down into the southeastern corner. So really from Italy over to Greece and Turkey, and then northwards to southern parts of Ukraine, and all areas in between uh, looking on the uh, mild of an average side in this week. Elsewhere, the signal is weakening. So it's a weakening signal with lots of white beginning to appear. That's either average or more likely no signal. We do see that, uh, uh, for example, it's a little bit above average with the temperature only through the Baltic Sea. So that might hint that Scandinavia is a little bit milder. Uh, but again, it's such a weak signal there for many uh, northern, central, western parts of Europe. But uh, it is it is hard to decipher what is happening there. The west of Europe, around Ireland and Portugal, generally looking a bit on the cooler side. Precipitation anomalies are also weakening in week three, taking us from the 11th to the 17th of November. Looking rather unsettled through the central part of the Mediterranean, so from uh, sort of Mallorca over to Italy and all areas in between, looking a little bit wetter than average there, maybe some big thunderstorms. The southeast could be a bit drier than average. Maybe going further north again, the signal is uh, very, very weak. Also a little bit drier than average around the low countries, Belgium and uh, the Netherlands for example, and maybe a little bit over Scandinavia too, but these are very, very weak signals by the time we get through to week three. And then finally, week four, which is week 47 for the year, taking us from the 18th to the 24th of uh, November, looks like that. Again, the signals are weak, but warmer than average temperature anomalies are very much through this far southeastern corner, around Turkey and down to Greece, also a little bit up towards the far north of Scandinavia. Uh, some of these central western areas look a bit colder than average, so a weak signal for France, for Germany, possibly parts of po uh, Poland to be... Uh, a bit colder than average. Uh, elsewhere, uh, we see lots of white, which again is either going to be average or more likely, given it's week four, no signal. Precipitation-wise, finally, from the 18th to the 24th of November, we look like this. Maybe hints at being a little bit drier than average around the northwest of Europe. So again, for parts of the UK, parts of France, for Germany. Just a subtle hint that it might be a bit drier. Maybe some high pressure uh, developing into the second half of November. Then, Meanwhile, down in the Med, it does look rather unsettled. Again, particularly through the central areas, from the Adriatic to Italy, and into the central basin of Mediterranean. It looks overall a little bit on the wet, wetter than average side, possibly hinting at some thunderstorms. But once again, these are very, very weak signals. So um, I don't get through to week three and four. The signal from the model is always weakening. What we can say is that we're starting off, though, for the next couple of weeks, uh, really quite unsettled, I think, in the, in, in the West, particularly uh, next week. There'll be some very heavy rain. Starting off quite cold as well for many northern parts of Europe. It does look as though temperatures will uh, recover a bit and get closer to average. But there's no signal for anything really warm coming up for northern Europe, really mild coming up for northern Europe, I don't think, in um, the next couple of weeks. And then beyond that, uh, actually, the signals get uh, far too weak to be able to decipher much of uh, a forecast. Right, that's it for your ECMDF for today. Look, we'll be doing all over again next week. Remember, it's just a snapshot of what model is showing. Could look, all look, it could all look very different uh, next week. We'll be back later on this afternoon or early this evening with your week 10-day video update. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.